Welcome agents, today I want to show you my raid build. We are expecting some significant changes to armor, health and skill power when title update 3.0 comes out on raid day. And this build should benefit from these changes, with a good balance between damage and armor. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button below, subscribe for dedicated division content, and let's do this. What's up agents, welcome. So this is my raid build, it is a work in progress, so please remember that. And I'll go over the pieces I want to change and, and kind of go over why I've gone with this build. So firstly, as you can see, I've got an LMG, I've got a rifle. This is kind of a mixture of LMG and rifle build. Uh, the pieces wise, we've got two piece overlord giving us plus 10% rifle damage plus 7.5% total armor. Um, and we've got it on the chest and the knee pads here. Uh, we've got a Gilligard mask giving us plus 5% total armor. We've got the Petrov defense group giving us plus 10% weapon and damage. We've got Ariada Holdings plus 10% accuracy. And then lastly, the uh, backpack, we got plus 8% health for Murakami Industries. Okay, so, um, right, so first and foremost, we got free, and that's T H R W E. <laughs> I know I pronounced my free wrong. I basically can't pronounce my THs. We want to get free uh, sort of offensive attributes, okay, maximum. And there's one reason for that, and that's for compensating on the gloves. So let's start off with the gloves. So, Ariada Holdings, um, I would change this if I could. With that said, 10% accuracy on console with an LMG is quite strong, okay? Is it the best? No. But then again, Badger Turf doesn't give you any talents, I don't believe, so I wouldn't be able to get compensated, and this gives you damage to elites. You could possibly run Murakami Industries on here and then run something different on the backpack, perhaps, and you can s switch and change it. But for right now, we're running this, okay? And... Um, so on here we got compensate, which gives you 15% um, weapon damage when your critical hit chance is lower than 20%. When you're running LMG, your crit chance is pretty much always going to be lower than 20%. And with this build, because it's a balance of damage and armor, then what you're going to be wanting to go for is weapon damage. Okay, that is the stat you want. So you want three red stats, and you want all of those to be weapon damage. Okay, so um, as, well, aside from the mask, actually, so you want two pieces weapon damage, one piece um, you want damage to elites. And with the gloves as well, what you want is one main attribute. And the reason why is because it rolls a lot higher. It rolls like double if you had two. For example, let's look at these gloves here. So we've got health and then we've got plus 2% rifle damage. And I believe that rifle damage could go up to, say, 5 6% maximum. All right, so what you'd want instead is the plus 11%. LMG damage. Unless, of course, you really wanted to go LMG rifle, and then you could possibly go for something like health, plus you could have 5% rifle da sorry, rifle damage or LMG damage, and then devastating, okay, which gives you weapon damage, which means you could use both. But I would say that compensated is possibly the best talent when you've got low crit chance um, in the game for gloves, and perfect with the LMG. So recommend you get that, and as you can see, it only allows you to have free red stats or offensive stats okay so um so that's the reason what you want free now you want seven or more on the chest piece and we'll go into the chest piece here for unstoppable force so unstoppable force killing an enemy grants two percent weapon damage for every ten thousand max armor that means that with this i get about 44 percent extra uh, armor or oh, sorry damage weapon damage because of my armor so you want to be getting as much armor as you possibly can with this build to synergize with this particular talent and i would make changes here okay so get rid of crit chance keep bonus armor put on health okay and then have weapon damage you want weapon damage here you want weapon damage or some sort of damage on your uh, your gloves here and then you want damage to elites on your mask that's where you're gonna i think that's where you're gonna get the most value the only thing i can change what you might want to change is you might want to run weapon damage on the backpack and not run damage to elites but when you're getting 45 percent damage to elites on it on a mask i think that's more than worth uh, you know a couple of percent of weapon damage definitely so i would definitely keep overlord armaments because you get obviously rifle damage total armor and you want unstoppable force if i could change this i would have weapon damage bonus armor and i'd have two talents i'd have unstoppable force and i'd want hardened which gives you the plus 10 percent um, armor. So with this, it would go up to 260, meaning my actual weapon damage would go up even more because I'd have actually a lot. More, I don't have an extra 4% weapon damage. So when you put on hardened, you're getting more damage. You're increasing your armor, 
and you're getting more damage. That's why Unstoppable Force is an absolutely mon is just a monster talent in this game. And the reason I've gone for a lot of armor, or I'm going for a lot of armor, is because with the changes coming to armor and stuff, armor's going to become even better in Title Update 3.0, so this build's just going to get stronger. So let's go on to the mass. So this is the other place you want to get a red stat, okay? And you want damage to elites. As I said, you can get up to about 45%. Some of these have got 30%, and, and you're just not going to get that sort of damage anywhere else in the game. So you definitely want it on here. Uh, the next attribute you probably want on here is health. Hazard protection might be strong in the raid. It just depends what's in the raid. So for right now, from what we know, I would go with health or armor here if possible. Gilligard, plus 5% total armor, you know, you don't, it's just great. You know, for a, for, the, for for just one uh, piece, it's so strong. You definitely want Gilligard. And then for the talent, then you probably just want to get hard hitting giving the extra 15% damage to elites. So you could, in theory, get 60% 60 damage to elites just on the mask. And that's the dream. And that's what you would want to go for. Now, moving on to the holster, we got Petrov Defense Group. I, I did at first think that this wasn't a great um, holster. And I kind of still think that way. What I'd want here is sort of two blue stats or two defensive stats. And then I'd want a talent, like Devastating. That's, that's the dream. I don't have that yet. But we're on our way there. And I'm not sure if Petrov Defense Group can even get a talent. If it couldn't, I'd have to swap it round. But that's kind of what you want. Here I've got Health on Kill Health and Cooldown Reduction. Now if we go on to the backpack, again, the dream is we want Safeguard. Okay, so you have to get Safeguard. Solo, group, it doesn't matter. So Safeguard, even after the even after the, the changes that were made, is still unbelievably strong. Okay, so you definitely want to be using Safeguard with this particular build. Or any build, actually, for that matter. Um, almost every build. Certainly, as I said, solo and, and, and group play when you're doing damage. So with this, we've got uh, health, cooldown reduction, bonus armor. Again, if I could change insulated, I would. I'd have hardened again. Give me that extra uh, armor. Put me up towards 300,000 armor if I had that on there. If I also had it on the chest piece. Meaning I'd be doing even more damage from Unstoppable Force. So that's why it's so strong. Uh, Murakami Industries is giving you plus 8% health. Health might be important um, in the raid. We don't know yet, but it could be important. Um, and and I think apart from that, this is absolutely fine. Cooldown reductions, whatever. Uh, bonus armor, of course, and health is, is is of course strong. We've already gone over the um, the gloves there. So just quickly onto the the knee pads here. Uh, we've got overlord armaments. We've got bonus armor, damage to elites. If I could change this, I would. I'd keep damage to elites, but I'd also want to run on patience as well. So there there are some, and I'm not sure if you can get it on overlord. So maybe it wouldn't work, but. There are some that you can get two talents where, like for example, these Fenris piece here, we get Patience, which gives uh, which repairs your armor by 5% for every second after being in cover for 3 seconds. Plus you'd want uh, Hard Hitting and you'd want Bonus Armor as the attribute. If you can't get it, then of course Bonus Armor and I would probably go with Patience over Damage to Elites. Okay, so you're going to be in cover most of the time in the raid, I imagine. Certainly with an LMG, because in um, in cover, that's where it's just much stronger. Certainly on console, to aim in cover. So just being in cover and getting that armor back. 5% uh, every second. After 20 seconds, you're going to have your armor back fully. So just sit in cover and you're getting that. It's probably the strongest talent on the, on the knee pads that you can get. Now the actual weapon here, I've got an M60. We've got 30k base damage, unhinged, rate of fire. Those are the two talents you want. Now, again, I'm going to say on console, because on console, having a loss of 35% weapon handling on unhinged is very, very detrimental. Okay, now if you can handle it, great. Okay, but it's very hard to use. So what you want to try and do is just basically mod your, your weapon to get as much stability as possible and accuracy, you know, to try and mitigate that. The only other real way of mitigating it, possibly, is running two-piece ongoing directive, which gives you that plus 20% weapon handling. Okay, that's the and you could put that on maybe here and here, I don't know, but wherever you want to throw it around. The only problem with ongoing directive is you don't get the talent. So maybe you could put it on the holster here. Possibly you could put it on the mask, losing that damage to elites, but it's up to you. I personally would rather just spec into accuracy and stability where I can, which is why um, Ariada Holdings isn't that bad on console for an LMG, it's actually quite useful, that extra 10% accuracy. So that's the uh, that's my main weapon. My second weapon is my rifle, my MK17. This has got Optimist, which gives you uh, plus 3% on, 
Weapon damage for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. This has also got stability, making this MK17 very, very accurate. And actually, um, the if I could increase the accuracy on this, I would. And I possibly could, but... I don't know if stability is more important than accuracy. Do you know what? We'll put on accuracy here. Stability is very important, of course. You don't want to be bouncing everywhere. But that said, I think accuracy is also quite important. Uh, I'll just keep stability on it. I've tried it out this way, and it's very strong. So I'm going to keep it this way. And again, this rifle is really, really, really strong. Uh, we've got Overlord armaments giving us extra 10% damage for this. And if you can run compensated, maybe on here. So if you can run compensated, giving us that weapon damage, it applies to the M60 and the rifle. So that's really, really strong. And again, you're just going to want to mod this for accuracy, stability. And on my uh, on my magazine here, I've got plus 10% rounds. And then lastly, for the uh, for the pistol here, then what you want is the talent. And I can't remember the name of it, but it basically gives you extra armor whilst in cover. I think it's extra 10% armor. You want that. That's what you want to go for. So that's the build, really. Now, we're going to go look at the specializations because this is important. And you need to make a choice. And I'll tell you what my thinking is. So I've gone with Demolitionist, which is the obvious one. And reason it being obvious is you get plus 50% LMG damage. So, you know, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. Uh, that's basically the uh, the glove talent just from the specialization. You know, very, very strong. Now, you might want to consider Survivalist because you get 15% increased outgoing healing, 15% increased protection from elites. You don't get the extra 15% damage, but you get that instead, which is a lot. And, and I agree, it is a lot. But for me, protection from elites, not that important. And the reason I say that is because generally, I'm killing elites quicker than I'm kill killing, say, a purple bar enemies. Because I've normally got damage to elites here on my mask. I've got it on on here as well. So I'm getting extra 30% damage to elites, uh, which is 30% more than what I would get on a purple bar. Meaning, if I'm ever getting damned, it's normally from a red enemy I don't see. Or a purple bar. It's never elites. Because generally I focus elites as well. I think most of you guys would do this as well. You will focus elites, for, uh, elites first generally. And get those down before you go on to the others. So I find that I die a lot more. From purple and red bar enemies. Than I do elites. So if that's the case. Then I don't really need the protection from elites. Because I'm already going to be focusing on elites. The increased outgoing healing is strong. But it's probably too much well, it's never there's never you can never have something too much well you can that's the whole point of too much but my point is with safeguard on you don't really need that extra 50 percent increased healing would it be good yes but is it stronger than 15 percent weapon damage not when you're running safeguard it isn't and as i say in all of my videos the best defense is a very good offense and that 15 percent lmg damage is is the best offense you can get lastly sharpshooter for anyone who really struggles with stability and stuff then run sharpshooter. That extra stability you get, that 30% weapon stability is very clutch. I've tried this and it makes the, the M60 like a laser beam. Once you get used to that stability without this, then it's fine. You don't need it. But if you are struggling, use this. It's very, very good. You get that extra 30% reload speed, which vastly increases your DPS on the M60. But again, is it stronger than 15% LMG damage? Probably not. With that said, if you're going for more of a right, the rifle side as opposed to the M60, then yeah, maybe you'd want to run this because you, if you rank this all the way up, you get 25% increased headshot damage and you're also going to get that 15% rifle damage. With that said, if you're running on console, hitting headshots on um, a rifle consistently is fairly hard. So you're not going to get a lot of value out of that unless you're very close. And generally, you're not going to be that close with a rifle, so you don't get a whole lot of value with that. So for me... I'm going to be running Demolitionist for 15% LMG damage because that's where I'm going to get the most value from what I can tell. So there you go, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Hopefully, you understand where my build is going. As I said, this is more of a blueprint rather than a this is my build and this is what I'm going to be running. Um, this build is only going to get stronger in the patch. Now, I don't know what the patch is going to do, but all I know... Sorry, not the patch. The update is going to do. But all I know is that they're going to do more with armor and health. Health and armor is going to become more important. So... it. And we know the devs, all right? So what they're going to end up doing is going too far one way, meaning armor and health are going to become meta, and that's what you're going to want to run. And also what they're also going to be doing is reducing the time to be killed from NPCs. So armor and so you're actually going to be able to take on more bullets. So, yeah, I think this build's just going to get stronger. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. It really does help me out. And until the next one, guys, epic out.